It's another new week. It's time for me to say Shavua Tov and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Raleen Marks, your host with those top stories making headlines from Israel and surrounds. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at those top stories. And we begin with the aid that Israel is engaged in all around the world. As we speak, there are still IDF Home Front Command search and rescue delegations in Miami. This is to help try and recover bodies from the collapse of the Champlain Towers that took place in uh, Surfside in Miami just under two weeks ago. To date, about 24 people have been pulled from the wreckage and at least 128 are still missing. Now, demolition crews demolished parts of the building and this was done in order to uh, brace against inclement weather coming in, but also allow search and rescue teams to enter the rubble through other sources and hopefully recover more people in order for families to have closure and for dignified burials to be given. Our IDF forces are still on site and have declared that they will stay there as long as they are needed. Israel has also dispatched firefighters as well as firefighting planes to Cyprus. On board these planes a special fire uh, retardant because uh, there are extreme blazes in parts of Cyprus and in an exchange of very very warm tweets yesterday both countries assured that this is what friends do for their friends. And earlier today, Defence Minister Benny Gantz tweeted out that he will be sending or he's offering aid on behalf of Israel to Lebanon. He says, as an Israeli, as a Jew, as a human being, his heart hurts when he sees people going hungry on the streets of Lebanon. Lebanon's economy has been in a severe crisis over the last couple of years. And if you want to read more on Israel's humanitarian aid, there is an article up on our website at www.layoftheland.online as well as this very Facebook page. In other news, Isaac Herzog, our president-elect today, bid farewell to his role at the Jewish Agency. He was the head of the Jewish Agency and uh, he is preparing to be sworn in as Israel's next president in two days' time. And uh, in another historic move, the Jewish Agency has appointed Khadir Hamal Mare. She is the first Druze emissary to represent the organization and she will be stationed in Washington, D.C. We wish her and President-elect Herzog Bahatzlacha, Mazal Tov and everything of the best in their new portfolios. Now, we thought we had said goodbye to the COVID-19 pandemic. Alas, it is not so. And while Israel is seeing a surge in infections, this is largely due to the highly infectious Delta variant. Uh, at least the hospitalizations are down for the moment. The coronavirus cabinet has discussed maybe reintroducing new restrictions. This could include a cap on the amount of people allowed at gatherings, as well as reintroducing the Green Pass, although in a limited capacity. Also up for discussion is the possibility of quarantining parents of children who are infected. The Delta, uh, the Delta variant has come in and is largely infecting children or students who haven't been vaccinated and has come in, it is believed, through many people who have either come from abroad or who have travelled abroad. So those are the top stories making headlines here in Israel. Don't forget to check out our content online at www.layoftheland.online, our Facebook page at Lottel site. If you haven't already, please give us a like or a follow, join our community, share this very brief. Also, while you're on our Facebook page, yesterday marked 45 years since the historical and daring raid on Entebbe that was uh, Operation Thunderbolt that was renamed Operation Yonatan. We have a short video clip there. Check it out while you are there. 
we're also on YouTube at The Israel Brief. Subscribe by clicking on that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. That's at Lay of the Land 5. So with today's edition of The Israel Brief and those major headlines, I'm Rowling Marks wishing you a safe and a healthy rest of your day. And we'll meet again tomorrow.